finally time to make our character jump. Let's go and do that. First though, just before we do that, I want to add in to here. I want to say, I want to, I want to key that if it's pressed, I want to say like the UI cancel, then I want to quit the game. That way I can just hit escape and not have to click on the little, the little close window button. So we'll say get tree dot quit. So that'll do that for us. So I just wanted to add that real quick. So now that we're going to, since we're going to do some jumping, I feel like we need some state machine kind of control. So I'm going to set up an enum up here and let's set up some states. Let's talk about like a normal state, maybe um, a jump state, maybe a fall state, a land state, and a die state. We'll just start with those and see where we get. And something else that we're going to want, since we're going to jump, is we want some kind of jump velocity. And that's going to be a constant, at least, at least, at least, at least initially. At least, at least. And we'll make that something like minus 200. And then I want to add air jumps. So I want to add ability to jump in the air. So we need something like, I, but, but we want that to be a portion of the jump velocity. So when you're in the air and you do an air jump, it should be less than the velocity. So I want to do a, um, like an air jump multiplier. And I think for this, let's, we could start out at like three quarters of the jump velocity. I mean, that sounds good to me. So let's add another variable. So we'll say a uh, variable max air jumps. And we'll set that to one. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start it at one. And additionally, we'll need um, a state variable so that we can set our state normal. We'll set it to normal for now. <laughs> and we'll need an air jumps. We will need, an, a, how many air jumps do we have for this particular jump? Or the one that we're on, whatever. Right, so what we'll want to do is right after this, is we'll want to begin checking our state. So if it's normal, then we do something. It's jump. Then we do something if it's fall. We do something if it's die. We do something. And if it's land, that's the other one. If it's land, then we do something. There we are. Okay. So what do we do, pray tell? That's the question. Well, first of all, um, if it's normal, we do want to allow horizontal movement. In my opinion, anyway. <laughs> and then we would say something like, um, but if input dot is action just pressed like the jump key, then we would say air jumps equals maximum air jumps. So we'll, we're going to set his air jumps, set the player's air jumps to the max because we're just beginning a jump. And then we'd say the state equals jump. State equals jump. And I'm going to do this. Uh, we're, and you'll see why. I'm gonna, we'll make a method or a function called jump. The reason I'm, we wouldn't just set the state equal to jump like this and then just let let it, whenever process comes around next, it would call jump after that, is because I want to capture this action just pressed again in the jump, in the call to jump right here. We'll put jump here as well. So we'll make a function called jump. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that this stuff right here, I think we should actually move this into jump because that's really where that's gonna, that's really where that's gonna happen. So we would, what we would say is if air control then we want to actually have horizontal movement. Otherwise, we don't. So here, we would basically restate what we had up there. So is action just pressed jump like that. 
Um, and we want to also check if the air jumps are greater than or equal to zero. In other words, we, do we have at least one air jump? Or do we have any air jumps? If we have no air jumps, the way that we're calling it, you know, up here, we're, we're going into the jump state. So if there are zero air jumps, so a zero means that we have one jump and that would be just on the floor. Hopefully that makes sense. So then we want to, let's do distraction free coding here. That doesn't really help much, does it? Moves it further down. I really want it to be up here. So we want to set the animation. We want to play the jump animation. And then we want to we want to check and see if this is the first jump. And that the way to do that would say to be say to say if the air jumps is equal to the maximum air jumps. And in other words, if we just now jumped, that must mean we're on the floor. Oh, for there. Then uh, then our velocity, our y velocity, is equal to the jump velocity. Uh, otherwise, our y velocity is equal to the jump velocity times our multiplier. Uh, what was it called? Jump. Air jump multiplier. That's what it was. Air jump multiplier. And then we will want to say air jumps. Uh, subtract one from air jumps, in other words. And if we if the if the jump key wasn't pressed or if we don't have any air jumps, then we want to check if is on floor. And we also probably want to check to make sure our velocity is greater than or equal to zero to make sure that we're actually falling or have fallen. Otherwise, if we haven't jumped yet and we haven't gotten off the ground, and we're in here and we don't press this button, then this will get triggered and we'll get set, uh, the state will get set back to land and we don't want that. So we'll just add that in there for a check. Now let's see, do we have enough to try this? Um, Let's do, actually, let's do this. State equals, let's just go ahead and set state to normal here. And we fall. We'll set state equals land. Let's actually check if uh, is on floor. State equals land, how about that? All right, let's try this. See if we get an air jump, see if we can do any air jumps at all. See if we can do jumps at all, there's a jump. Okay, and there's our air jump, so it seemed to work. Excellent, great. So we have air jumps, and just to prove that we can turn off the number of air jumps, so there are no air jumps, let's see if that works. Yep, that is working. Okay, let's add one other thing, well, actually a couple of other things. Let's keep track of where he starts his jump. So jump start, let's call it jump start y. And what we'll do is anytime we jump, we will set jump start y equal to the global y position of the character. So that will let us, basically that will let us see how far we have fallen. So like if we'd land, we could say print, fell, I guess I'll do this, fell, percent, is it percent F, I think, we'll see. Um, and that would be,
global position dot y minus start what did we call it jump start y to pull it out like this or is it percent D I don't, I don't remember maybe we just do this Well, I guess we get to go and check and see what what the print formatting is. Let's see. Print format. We'll check. Format strings. Yeah, that should work. Like just like that. The percent F. If we had it. Percent F. And then we put Oh, I bet. Yeah, okay. That's the problem. Oops. It wants this as a single a single piece and it didn't didn't understand it. That's what I wanted. There we are. Let's see if that works. So if I jump, then I fell fifty nine point nine pixels. Now if I do this, then that does not working. Because We also need to do that. We need to do that here. We need to check if we're not on the floor. Like this. And we'll say state equals full. And we'll say um, maybe we need to rename it. And then we'll say else. Whoops. No, that's right. In here. Yeah, let's let's rename this. Let's let's say place. Place jump start y with last y. Just call it last y. Replace all. Thank you. Yeah, last y. So we we can fall from here. That looks good to me. Let's check. Let's check out. Yeah, I like it. Um, and the other thing is when we start running off of this stuff, I don't know if you noticed, but I tried to press jump right there. And it wasn't allowing me to do so. so I'm thinking. We may want to implement something like a fall timer. I hope 
hopefully we can finish this really quickly and do something like a constant call it like a min fall jump time something like that Let's set it equal to something like 40 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds and all that would simply do be the following we would say all time add delta to that and then down here uh, fall time would be set to zero and we can comment this out because we don't need it uh, no I don't know what I'm and we could say here we could say else or elif all time is less than or equal to min jump min fall jump time then call jump you see what we're doing there and then we'll do this too we'll set the state equal to jump here just just in case we get in here and then let's add and air jumps is greater than or equal to zero or fall time is less than min jump less than or equal to min jump fall min fall jump time basically in other words actually we don't have to do that do we we're not checking if we're on the ground here we can just do this but we will want to if This is the case, and we would want to do that and set that equal to the max number of air jumps, I think. I'm not sure if I have it all covered, but let's see if that, oh, that seems to work. Let's see, let me do this, print fall, because that felt, that felt like I was getting a little bit of a break there, it felt better. missed it that time it's hard to tell Obviously, we don't have everything set up exactly like we should yet, but it's coming together, I think. Let's change it to 150 milliseconds. Yeah, I'm feeling that one. I'm, it's definitely there. I'm just not sure if 50 milliseconds is going to really do much. Kind of thinking not. No, oh, no, I started falling there, didn't I? I think I started falling right there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm feeling it a little bit. Yeah. I think you get one last run. I think so. I mean, anyway, that's a little parameter that we can tweak. So then basically if he starts to fall a little bit, we're still going to allow a jump within that fall window. That's really what that does. Or that's the that's the purpose uh, as far as whether or not it works correctly uh, that you know maybe we have a bug I don't know but it seems to be working so next time we will look into uh, replacing basically creating a script to go through the tiles in each level and then replacing things like the tile set with representation of the character the coins and things like that with the actual character and with actual coins that move and things like that so until then, we'll see you next time.